Are you filming, Harry? Yeah, we're filming, sorry. So here we are in Atlanta. Georgia. Well, um, the surprise. <laughs> we're not supposed to be here, are we? No. So we, uh, we've we come out to surprise Tom. Ten hour flight for a game of golf. <laughs> <laughs> Harry was definitely coming, that was always the plan. Did I knew Harry was coming, and you did it really well, actually. I'm glad you didn't do it in a restaurant. Because yeah. it was a bit of mosh. <laughs> it was very emotional. I was going to be an awful time and just gone, oh hi. Oh hi guys. And how you how doing? You doing? Yeah. Yeah. It took me a minute to figure out what was going on though. Yeah, it was I was so that, tired yeah. from working and I'm so homesick. But, um, That's why we came by the way. Just so you know, we just didn't just just decide to come on holiday. No. Um, <laughs> I can't have a gig in a pub to be here, Tom. Oh, you saying? <laughs> <laughs> what pub? The Turk's Head in Twickenham. I thought it was the bear cat. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a good. That's a good gig. Um, is... But yeah, it took me a minute to figure out what was your going on. Your reaction was unreal. Because I saw your so face good. first, and I saw Dad's face, and I genuinely thought I was hallucinating. There was a sign of disappointment. I was like, I'm so tired. <laughs> when you or saw I've had too face. many beers. Because <laughs> I surprised Dad in Edinburgh. That was massive. And we have a video of that, which we've never shown, but maybe at the end of this video. But it video. got into my show, didn't it? The glory year. I did remember the glory year. Oh, yeah. 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 And you, had yeah. To leave, you had to leave at the end oh, of the Oh, is the video, did it play in the show? No, it didn't play, but Dad spoke about it. Oh, Dad's okay. Not, I just, Dad's not able to do that. I told I'll the story. The show. <laughs> <laughs> I told the story about how excited I was, and the fact that I was wearing pyjamas that had come off a Cathay Pacific first class flight, which are obviously your pyjamas. Which I still want back. <laughs> <laughs> what about the other surprise though, in, in um, Thailand? Oh yeah, oh, yeah. that when was a good one. When we you're were... good at surprises. Your, your birthday and your end of filming. And Mum phoned me up in London and said, Dad, your dog, come out to Thailand. And uh, so I went, I flew on Thursday, I flew back on Sunday. Right, yeah. I think that was I went scuba really... diving that day. That's right, you came out. I remember, remember I came out and you came out from a pillar. And then you were telling everyone what you, what you saw. Yeah, because you were on a ripstick, weren't you? You were going around the fountain. Right, right, right. Yeah. right. And then My reaction just wasn't out. as good as Harry's. But yeah, I surprised you in Edinburgh. We surprised Mum for her birthday. In, from Canada, we were going on. Oh, yeah, yeah we do. You have a lot of surprises going on, don't we? Sam ruined that one. Yeah, it's Sam's not bad. Bad. <laughs> Let's talk, talk about the shit. <laughs> Can we, kept, we kept this one quiet. I had no that idea. That was actually coming. Thing is, though, it was so on a whim. Well, it was on Thursday kind of that we came, that Mum phoned me up on Thursday. I think it was Wednesday we kind of thought about it. No, it wasn't. Th oh, did you? know Thursday. Because I remember Monday. you said, I was like, are we, are we doing this then? And you said, oh, it's all book. Yeah, cool. And well, here we are in Atlanta. Play golf today. And oh, uh, play so Harry and I play Sam and... Tom. Tom. Jet no, <laughs> lagged. <laughs> <laughs> your, your elders. <laughs> yeah. Uh, and we, what's the score, boys? Ooh. It was all square. We went. We one up. We, 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 we were one down going up the 18th, and then I Dad cracked down. under the pressure. And, and who won the hole? Then? Yeah, I think it's funny. Sam did. Sam, yeah, Sam I'm well. exhausted. <laughs> Sam I'm jet lagged. Well. So. Sam, you played really well. I did. I was really pleased. It was that driver, you know. I was kidding. No, no, you, you were driving my really driver. Well. Yeah. Well, anyway, it was, it was all square. It was very, very equitable. And yeah, proper. I was glad it actually. We should like that. We no, should have won. Definitely. You finished about one hole on the front line. <laughs> yeah. Harry lost the point. Harry, how many balls did you lose, man? Too many. I've, but I lost a lot of balls. I Harry, think I lost an entire. You threw one in the lake. Well, it was a stupid ball. I missed. I missed the ball. Yeah, that was the problem. The ball. <laughs> it was definitely the ball's fault. Well, I went to. It was an old wing. long. You have it in golf. <laughs> in golf, you have ball, expensive golf balls, and they're like eight pounds each. What, no, they're not really five pounds. They're expensive. Each. I say five pounds each for a golf ball, and I yeah. took Paddy to play golf the other day, maybe a week ago, and he out of his bag, he's obviously gone into your drawer and taken like yeah. six Pro V ones. So I was like, Paddy, you can't be hitting Pro V ones. I was like, you can't. So I took all of them out of his bag, put them in mine, and replaced all of my crappy balls in his bag. I lost all six <laughs> in six holes at Coombwood. This is the expense of being a dad. Oh, four kids. God. But talking of expense, we're very excited because the Brothers Trust just launched this new event. Mm hmm. And it's got brilliantly time. It was launched on Friday. 90, yeah, we've raised about nine, over $90,000. $90,000 so far. It's been well, we're now Sunday, so we launched it on Friday. We launched it, we launched it in London, or Nikki launched it in London during the screening time. Yeah, we were watching the event. We were watching the Avengers. <laughs> oh, right, yeah. We were watching the Avengers, and mum had a phone going. Oh, is that why she left? 
I was actually left to make sure oh. it was on. So she went on, got on the Wi Fi, oh. watched it. So during the film, we were watching the film, we were also looking at the counter and how many lights on your Instagram and stuff. How do you check like that? Mum's got it on her phone. Oh, right. and so, but we're just 92,000 is amazing already. Nineteen two thousand. We could use okay. that nineteen two thousand to uh, replenish the golf balls we lost. <laughs> Actually, let me just a little bit of a disclaimer. None of the money is used for uh, luxury Holland days out. It's all, all the money goes it's to entirely non profit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And no one gets paid in the Brothers Trust. So, uh, but I'm just, just really talk about one of the charities. We, we should we each talk about a charity. Well, let, should we establish what the, the why don't you tell wins? us about Lunchbox. why don't you tell us about your trip to Kibera? Oh yeah, Harry well, just before, before we do that, let's just tell tell people what they can win if they do this. Oh right, why don't you do that? Because you're, yeah, you're, you're the man. This, this is your you area. can see me. <laughs> <laughs> Harry, there, Harry right? will be there. Hang out with it's Harry. the premiere in Los Angeles. In the LA premiere for Spider-Man Far From Home. Uh -huh, which we just watched the trailer we on. We just watched the trailer for. Which is fantastic. Yeah, which we don't know when it comes out. No. I can't disclose any information. When is the premiere? Yeah. I think know? the premiere is June. Let's put the trailer in. It's about June 15th. <laughs> it's around mid June. Mid June. But if you go online, if you go on my Instagram and the link in my bio, you can see all the details about when the event is and when it will be taking place. But what's really exciting is the opportunity to go to the Spider Man Far From Home premiere. Mm -hmm. We'll give you $1,000 spending money, we'll put you up in a swanky hotel. Oh, swankier than this <laughs> one. <laughs> The winner will basically get the opportunity to fly with a friend from anywhere around the world to Los Angeles to attend the Spider-Man Far From Home premiere with me. Harry will be there. Sam and Dad will probably be there. On the carpet. On the carpet. We'll take pictures. There's an amazing after party which we'll go to. Obviously we'll get to see the film which is the most exciting part of the yeah. process. Um, I haven't even seen the film yet so you'll be watching it for the first time with me watching it for the first time. Mm -hmm which will be pretty awesome. Um, and, uh, yeah, it's going to be pretty oh, epic. So It'll be a great night, and uh, that's what people can, uh, are entering the raffle for. And then the money that we raise, guys, we are really pleased to be able to... Ow! <laughs> um, I really hope I get credited as your hand double Spider-Man. Oh, right, yeah. Oh, yeah, Harry's actually in the bit in first in... trailer. Yeah, because when you unzip the suitcase, isn't that you? Yeah, that was the first time I did it. Terrifying. Were you nervous? Oh my god. Yeah, you just yeah, unzipping no, 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 that's not what it was. It was the first day of filming. Yeah. From that half Appreciate day what it is. And I had to. Start again. We're on set. We're on set. We're on set. And then I had to. Um, Good, I'm glad that resolved. Yeah, the Brothers Trust, when we, when we founded it, we sort of had the idea that we would shine a light on charities that perhaps don't get the publicity that the big charities can generate. And also we wanted to use charities that um, are very sort of cost effective, like most of the money, very muscular. Yeah, most yeah. of the money goes to the recipients yeah. rather than the, the offices in London or the offices in New York. And, the big sort of admin things that, that we didn't want the money you'd spent on. And one of the charities is Lunch Bowl, and you've just been to Kibera. Mm. So, you, you go on all the trips. Oh, you do. I know, you do all but the cool you, you trips. You do quite a lot of camera trips. It wasn't, it wasn't a great trip, wasn't it? You were, I went to um, Kibera, which is the second largest slum in sub Saharan Africa and is the place of a charity that we support, Lunch Bowl. And uh, what Lunch Bowl is, does is they have a nursery. And now a primary school slash secondary school is kind of half and half. Yeah. And they basically take kids out of the slum every and, day, uh, every day, and provide yeah. them a school. And then on Saturdays, I believe it is, they have a feeding program within the slum where they have three hundred kids come to the middle of Kabira, and they feed three hundred children. Yeah. And they give them food and a sachet of milk. And then on Sunday they have rugby. So they go to this rugby. rugby. Yeah, they go to a posh yeah. school in yeah. like, on the suburbs like of Kibera. Like a really posh school in Kenya. The where, posh where, school says have it, yeah. and they have these coaches that come. And these, like, we bought one of three, the buses, didn't we? Yeah, yeah, so one of the things the brother trusted is we bought a bus, which when I heard about that was like, why do they need a bus? But really, the rugby ground is five kilometres from 
Kibera. And a lot of so walk, yeah, a lot of what walk. happens is the bus is completely full. It's completely full, like to the point where there's too many kids on the bus. It, yeah. All the seats have got two kids. Uh -huh. And then what happens is when I was there, I saw like 20 kids at the gate of the rugby and they're just outside let, waiting at the gate. And then we went, I went over with the head coach and he was like, explaining to me, these kids have walked two hours. Like some of them are barefoot rugby. to come and play rugby. Yeah, and then they get yeah. a meal afterwards. Oh, and then another thing the bus does is take the kids from Kibera to the, the, the new secondary yeah. school. And I think the reason it's so great is the, the, um, the chance of a child making it to five years old is 50%. So you're talking about like the flip of a coin. So taking a child out of Kibera for the day, for eight hours, ten hours of the day, mm. drastically improves the chances of, of, of survival. Of survival. Because mum was telling me wow. that I didn't know that. during their holidays they just get really upset because they miss school. Oh so yeah, much. they get and they they, they oh, say really? that they can, the teachers can tell a massive change in behaviour when they come back after holiday. Really, really. Because for these kids going to school is like. And be up it's like heaven. And what they're trying to do in Kibera is what we take for granted. We have school from say four to eighteen mandatory, free for us in Britain, England. Um, and what they're trying to do is, is give these kids a chance to become educated. And well, they they want so they used to have this school went from I think it was like two to six, mm. which is great, but it's not great because when a kid finishes at six years old, where are they going to go? They go back to the yeah. slum. So now that it goes up to 15, they've only started that in the last year. That's so massive for them because they can take a child from two years old to 15 mm. and they can really shape the person they are sure. wow. with the teachers. And it's worth saying, in light of what I said earlier, every pound that we give to Launch Bowl, 97p yeah. is spent on the kids and 3p is admin postage. Last, last campaign did 406. Yeah, and we, we had a guy come over from America, he came to London. What was his name? Eric. Eric, yeah. Yeah. He was really oh, yeah, nice. We gave him a tour of set. He came to That's set. Right, yeah. Yeah, he had a good fun. time. He saw all the... He was lucky because they were about to tear down that Venice set, weren't they? He stayed in... Oh, I feel like... Well, well that's in the, the trailer. Bottom, least, yeah. It's going to be a red laser on your forehead. And he stayed in the His marble cap on. And he stayed at the Savoy, didn't he? Stayed at the Savoy. He got to see the Venice. The Venice set was so amazing. Yeah, I couldn't... They'd like dyed the water and everything. And I don't remember any kids ever really alive in the What is that, applause? Are these like loads of sound effects? Yeah, I've got loads of sound effects. I bought this for your... <laughs> well, I've heard that! <laughs> That's like being at work. The <laughs> fairway shots were great right. as well. That's right. right. And so, at the end of the summer time... Take us out, Sam. Send us home. You could be eight, mate. Okay, there's enough golf talk. Um, huh. But the main thing is the Brothers Trust campaign we've uh, launched. Uh, you can go on the Brothers Trust Instagram and find the link and donate and enter into the raffle. And we can't wait to see you at the LA premiere. Ooh. Two of you. Two people. Two people, yeah. And one person has to be over 13. Boom. And it's going to be amazing. Correct. Peace out. I'm going to go home on Tuesday. <laughs> no more surprises. <laughs>